in the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super, everyone left from Universe 7 tried to fight Jiren, but only one guy really stood out, and that was Android 17. Goku and Vegeta have their transformations and are able to somewhat keep up with Jiren, but 17, his power isn't anywhere near Jiren's. After what just happened, Android 17 got an edge over Jiren, and Jiren couldn't get one back. So since 17 is an android, you can't detect his life force. That's how he was able to sneak up behind Jiren and catch him off guard, and for the first time, put a dent in his armor. Obviously this makes Jiren mad, and he rushes 17, and you're thinking that, okay, once Jiren gets his hand on 17, it's gotta be over for him. But 17 doesn't even get caught by Jiren. Goku and Vegeta step in, and they all fight together for the second time. This leads to everyone getting knocked down. Even Frieza comes out and tries something. But with Jiren as he is right now, what they're doing isn't going to work, unless you're Android 17. When Jiren is about to knock Frieza off the stage, 17 blasts him from behind. So Jiren forgets Frieza, jumps down to 17, and says to him, What do you think you can do alone? Apparently, he can do a lot. 17 was able to get the backstory and wish out of Jiren. Even though they didn't directly make it clear what Jiren's wish was, 17 got it out of him, and it was made specific that he knows more about Jiren's character and what motivates him than almost anyone else. This is the start of 17 getting inside Jiren's head. Once he says to him, you only use people as a way to get stronger, Jiren goes crazy, and 17 even says, it looks like I've hit a nerve. So he keeps going down that road of getting inside his head because so far, everyone's tried to fight Jiren on a physical level and that hasn't worked. He says stuff like, do you think you can change the past if you win? And Jiren's response to this is yes. And after hearing this over and over again from 17, he decides it's time to end the tournament of power. With Goku and Vegeta unable to move, and Frieza floating around somewhere, what can 17 possibly do? Jiren creates this blast that will end the tournament if it hits, and it has every right to hit. No one has enough power to push it back, but this is where 17 solidifies his win against Jiren. Obviously not physically, but in the mind, mentally. He comes out with his barrier, and is trying to hold off this blast from getting to Goku and Vegeta. And then he says something that to me, rounds off 17's story arc perfectly. He says, sacrificing myself for others, I kind of like how human that is. And with that, 17 doesn't bounce the attack back, but he takes it head on, saving Goku and Vegeta, and that is the sacrifice. The reason this is such a good send off for 17 is because once upon a time, he was human. The story of 17 is that he was taken in as a human by Dr. Jiro and turned into an android. His name was Lapis, but now it's 17. Ever since he got away from Jiro and the Cell Saga ended, he tried everything he could to be human again. He started a family, looking after animals, anything to get away from being an android. And sacrificing himself in the tournament for the sake of everything is the most human thing he can do. There's nothing cyborg about it. And that's why I think 17 won against Jiren. He went out feeling proud while Jiren is still there with Android 17's words circling around his head. So there's a lot you can say about 17. Is he the MVP? Yes, even if Goku knocks out Jiren, it's because of what 17 did. So let me know what you think. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.